Hello people, this is Saurabh Gurav and if you want to crack DBTGRF or if you are thinking of cracking 2021 DBTGRF exam, then this is the right place for you. In this video, we will discuss the basic things that are necessary to understand the exam. We will discuss the syllabus and also some strategies with which you can overcome the basic problems, the simple problems. So without any ado, let us begin the video. TBT GRF exam is divided into two parts, part A and part B. Part A has general aptitude and biotechnology section questions. And part B has all the questions related to specialized sections of biology. In part A, you have to solve all 50 questions compulsory, while in part B, you have to solve just 50 questions out of 150 problems given in the part B which means there's a lot of choice for part B and part B is a scoring section for most of the students but if you want to crack this exam and come into two into any one of the two categories that is category 1 or category 2 you have to concentrate on part A which is as important as part B Students qualified and selected in the category 1 are eligible to have admissions in PhD programs at any recognized universities while students who are selected under the category 2 are eligible to get in any project sponsored by government. The aptitude section of the part A has 10 major topics from mensuration to geometry to probability questions from permutation and combination, basic algebra which will test your ability to handle large numbers, problems which are very common in aptitude like problems related to speed, work, time and distance, sitting patterns, mirroring questions and also problems which are related to testing your visual intelligence, some biostatistic and grouped and ungrouped data questions which are mean, median and mode, series and summation which are probably related to the syllabus of the 12th, simple interest and compound interest questions which are very rare but still count in aptitude and problems which are problems or questions which are related to current affairs. It may be related to maybe COVID-19, maybe the virus or vaccine productions, different types of vaccines. These are certain examples and questions which may arrive in aptitude section to test your knowledge of the current scenario. Your part B will have questions and problems related to specialized sections of biology and I have divided it into 12 major topics. The first one is biomolecular structure and function which is related to protein structure, very basic alpha helix, beta sheets or secondary structures and domains, examples of it like transcription factors, talons or something related to protein structure, amino acids, the polar, non-polar properties, Ramachandran plot. Secondly, the analytical methods without which no research is possible from your x-ray crystallography, chromatography, scanning electron microscopy, transmission electron microscopy, fluorescent microscope and all those methods which are used in research will have questions related to analytical methods and basic microbiology which will have prokaryotic cell structures, the organelles, the processes taking in organelles, the function of organelles and also differences in both the type of cells, their size, the way in which they generate ATP, the differences in the processes occurring in these two cells etc. And in more, in more detail you can also learn about cellular processes which take place in cancer cells or different cellular processes which takes place in different cells. And the second most important is the recombinant DNA technology, the enzymes involved in recombinant DNA technology and how the process takes place, different methods of including DNA into a cell differences in the methods employed for transforming different cells, for example plant cell or animal cell, 
The sixth topic is bioprocess, biochemistry and industrial bi microbiology. I have grouped it together because I think they are somewhat related to each other. So with the prior basic research and industrial microbiology, you can then move on to bioprocessing or production of certain proteins or economical compounds. So I have grouped all these two. genetics, which is almost related to problems and genomics, proteomics and all the types of omics which are emerging research interests. So from proteomics, transcriptomics, genomics and the different methods used in them from capillary electrophoresis to DNA sequencing, microarray, data handling and everything that is related to all the omics. So animal biotechnology and breeding is another topic which deals with cell culturing, tissue culturing related to animal cells. And tenth topic is the plant tissue culture and engineering which consists of different hormones which are needed for plant tissue culture, different crops grown and current development in the field, bioinformatics and computational biology which almost has one or two questions each year and miscellaneous questions which are related to environmental bioengineering, agricultural engineering, biopharmaceutical engineering, medical biotechnology and immunology. But the first 11 topics are of utmost importance and most of questions directly come from the basic biology related to analytical methods, recombinant DNA technology, genetics and genomics, proteomics and omics and most importantly the biomolecular structure and function of different proteins. So before any one of you give this exam, I want you to keep these five points in your mind. The first objective of this exam is to analyze your approach. Are you able to solve the question using the right approach? So before giving this exam, you must have read certain books and had the enough preparation. But are you able to apply the right approach and arrive at the right conclusion? Are you able to solve the problem and get the right answer? So your approach to solve the problem should be right, which comes with practice and solving many questions. The second thing is that most of the time while solving questions, you require visualizing the problem. You cannot just read and apply the formula and arrive at the conclusion, which might be true for some questions, but most of the time you require to visualize the problem and understand the problem before solving and applying the formula. The third thing is that are you able to apply the learned concept, which means that you might have studied different formulas or different theories or different concepts and theorems, but are you able to apply this theorem or this concept to different innumerable concepts in real life or examples or problems in real life? So before you read any theorem or before you read any concept, make sure that you are able to apply that concept to different things or different examples in real life. Fourthly, not knowing answer to a question is also a good thing. It means that you are aware that you don't know certain things and you are aware that you are expert at certain things. So it is also important to know what you know and also to know what you don't know. Knowing what you know and knowing what you don't know will help you reduce your negative marking. And lastly, you should be able to self-assess yourself. Try to arrive at the conclusion using different approach. This will help you validate your answers and self-assess yourself before anyone else assess your answer sheet. So you should be able to arrive at the conclusion using different approaches, cross-check your answers and in this way you can self-assess your whole answer sheet. If you want to strengthen your preparation of DBTGRF, then please subscribe to the channel and also if you want a lecture series for question and answers of DBTGRF like we did for gate Excel and gate BT, then please mention in the comments below so that we can come up with another video very soon.